Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today we're going to do a fun what's in the bag comparison. So I have fellow employee Jackie Johnson, who's uh, with our online sales and service department. Jackie, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, no problem. Love to be here. So every golfer is different. They play different types of golf clubs, whether they be a little more forgiving, less forgiving, different lofts on the drivers different set makeup where they play hybrids or driver irons. So we're going to do a comparison today and explain why I use particular clubs and why Jackie uses particular clubs. So here's a little bit about both of our games. So you've seen me in a few different videos on the YouTube channel. I also play professionally. I play golf at the University of Minnesota. Um, so I'm still playing in quite a lot of competitive events. Jackie, to tell me about your golf game and where you're at. So I played Division One golf for NDSU. Uh, I currently play in you know just random tournaments, whether it's uh, competitive, whether it's in scrambles, you name it. Uh, and then I also coach golf at the high school level as well. Okay, so your game may be a, a little bit more recreational and maybe don't quite practice to the amount that I may practice during, yep. during the year? Yeah. Okay, so that could be part of the reason why you don't maybe play blades or you maybe lean towards something that's kind of a little bit more on the forgiving side there as well. Right. So, so you still play a decent amount of golf though, right? Yeah, I played about two to three times a week this summer. So played quite a bit, um, two handicaps. So still, obviously I like to be competitive, like to make sure that I'm going out there and having the best clubs for me, for my game. I uh, still like to have, you know, workability. still want to be able to control the ball, uh, control the spin and do all those things that you know even competitive golfers are doing awesome so let's compare our clubs and compare what differences we have with regards to set makeup whether maybe you play more of a hybrid as opposed to a driving iron i believe you've got a hybrid in your bag yep. and then maybe how many wedges you play and then also what loft you got in every golf club okay and finally, Jackie, these clubs are not women's clubs, correct? That is correct. Yeah, I've been playing regular flex shafts for 10 years now. So, um, and a lot of it has to do with my, you know, club head speed and my ability to really get a lot of oomph behind the ball. So uh, I think my biggest thing is too, you know, as a woman in golf, uh, you're not just restricted to the lady section. Uh, there are other options out there for sure and you know that's why getting fitted is really important because that way you can really make sure that you're getting what's right for you and not just uh, walking right to that that lady section because a lot of women uh, should be fitted in a different flex shaft so yeah it can definitely be intimidating that lady section is kind of back in the back in yeah. the corner so as you mentioned it's important to get custom fitted for your specific golf swing based on your club speed and also your playing level. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's take a look at what you're playing in your bag and what I'm playing in my bag and this compare different, each different club. Sounds good. Yeah, so I'm playing the Sim Max with the Vintus Red uh, 5R shaft in it. Um, it has a 10 and a half degree loft, so. Okay, and then how far would you say distance that you're trying to achieve with the yeah, max. yeah, I would say that on average, I'm, I'm hitting it about 240. Uh, that's typically my driving distance. So, uh, you know, so far with this, I just got this. So that's kind of around the range that I'm still consistently hitting it at. Yeah, and then you chose the sim max. So is, you know, straight balls more important to you or is hitting as far as you can more important to you with the driver? Um, I would say just consistency and having something that's a little forgiving uh, in my driver that I'm going to be able to just be consistent with, hit it straight, know that I, you know, know where it's going and that I can get in that fairway and then go from there. Yeah, the, the Sim Max is a, definitely a great option for regards to forgiveness, but also gets that ball pretty far down the fairway yeah. as well. Um, for myself, I'm playing the Callaway Maverick Sub-Zero driver. Um, so I have nine degrees of loft on, on my my driver, so I don't have quite as much loft because I have a little bit more club speed than, than Jackie would, and that's also part of the reason why I play a Graphite Design XC6X golf shaft. So my goal with the driver is definitely to try and get it down there as far as I can. I'm trying to get this thing to go over 300 yards if, if I can. Um, 
goal obviously is to hit in the fairway, but for me, I'm trying to get this thing to get as far as I can so I can help gap the rest of my bag. So next club, Jackie, fairway wood. What yeah. loft do you have on your fairway wood? So here I have a uh, 18 degree five wood, uh, the Ventus Blue 5R on this. Um, and the reason why I went with the five wood instead of the three wood is actually because my specs were, were better with the five wood and I was actually getting the same amount of distance with my five wood as with three wood. And I feel more comfortable with the five wood uh, at a dress because of the loft. And uh, like we always say, loft is your friend. So it does help uh, stay consistent with ball striking. And so that's why I have that. Yeah, loft definitely is your friend. It is a little easy to hit off the ground as well. Fairy wood is one of the hardest clubs to get off the ground. When you've got a couple more degrees of loft on that club, you're actually gonna probably pick up distance by getting that ball to carry a little bit further as well. Yeah. So five wood, you know, it's definitely an underrated club. A lot of players that are playing a three wood probably should be playing a five wood. So it's definitely a great call there. Um, for myself, I'm playing the Callaway Maverick. I actually have a little bit less loft on my club. So for me, I'm trying to help gap out my bag. I'm trying to get this thing to go fairly far as well, about 270, 275. Um, I play this predominantly off the tee uh, because a lot of the courses and the events that I play in and pro-ams, I don't really need to hit the fairway off the ground to get home in two. So most of the shots I hit are off the tee. So that's why I go with a 13 and a half degree three wood to help with gapping in my bag. If I have a 15 degree three wood, it's not gonna go quite as far and it's gonna be closer to what driving iron I have in my bag there as well. So Jackie, you got a hybrid next, is that? Yep, so my next club is I have a 25 degree five hybrid with the Ventus Blue 6R shaft in here. Um, same situation with this club versus, you know, a four hybrid or a three hybrid. I was actually uh, hitting this the same as a 403, just, and honestly, maybe even further uh, because of the loft in here. So uh, I, I love this club. I use it, um, you know, on long par threes. I, I play from the back tees uh, on, you know, any course. So I really use this club a lot because when I'm hitting, you know, 180, 190 yard par three, this is the club I'm going to pick up and that's what I'm going to use. So I use this one a lot more than I even use my five wood. So. So it's interesting, I'm looking, you've got a, a five word, you have a five hybrid, and you have a five iron in your bag. So the most important th thing there is gapping. So a lot of people will say, well, you got a five iron, why do you have a five hybrid? Probably because that five hybrid still gaps better with the rest of your iron set, is that, is that correct? Yeah, I would say like, um, like my, it kind of, it replaces my four iron. Uh, that's kind of the distance that my like four iron or three iron would go. So the five hybrid just fits perfectly because under that, my five iron probably goes about 10 yards less than my hybrid. So all in all, it's a good gap. Yeah, so gapping is the most important thing. Even if it's got a five stamped on it, it's, and you have a five iron as well, if it's gapping properly, then absolutely play it there as well. Um, for me, making that transition from my fairy woods to the irons, I play a utility driver and iron. I've got the TaylorMade P790. It's actually a three iron. I bent the club just a little bit, a little bit stronger. I play this off the tee a lot as well. This is a club I'll play when I'm trying to hit it about 240, 250 off, off the tee. I've got the KBS Tour CT for Light 115X shaft in it. I played around with P790 with a 130 gram golf shaft and it was just a little bit too heavy. So I went a little bit lighter and also the loft, loft is your friend, getting the ball up in the air a little bit easier for me there as well. So this is a, this is a fairway finder for me on the short par fours when I'm trying to hit it out there. 240 to 260, me myself about 100 yards in, maybe I'm laying up short of a, of a bunker there too. So that's my transition club in my bag. Um, and then I believe irons, you have the uh, Titleist AP2 716, is that correct? That is Jackie? correct, yeah. Five through pitching wedge on those. Okay, and then what golf shaft are you playing with those? Yeah, I have the... Uh El Diala 65R, DVS2. So um, yeah, it's a mid kick, uh, mid launch, 65 gram shaft. So uh, you know, I, I've been used to having 65 gram shafts in my previous clubs as well in my irons. So that weight is a good weight for me. Yeah, we've actually done just a little bit of testing here today and future video coming up where we found out 65 gram for sure is a good yeah. option for you with regards to, to golf shaft there as well. Um, for me, 
I have a little bit of a combo set going on in my club, so I play a four iron through pitching wedge with my irons, but my four, five, and six iron, I'm playing the Callaway X Forged. So they're just a little bit more on the forgiving side, so a little bit, little bit more forgiving. But then I make the transition seven iron through pitching wedge to being blades. So the blades I play are the Callaway Apex MB blades. So the reason why I make that transition at seven iron is that's the club where I stop maybe going so much at the flag and maybe play a little bit more towards the middle of the green. So that's, I th consider my seven, eight, nine and pitching wedge as my workable clubs where I can work the ball into the flag and then maybe my four, five, six is the clubs are maybe hitting a little bit more conservative and hitting towards the middle of the green. I play the uh, Project X LZ 6.5 golf shaft, 125 grams in my irons there as well. Um, transitioning to wedges, wedges are your scoring clubs. These are very, very important clubs. How many wedges do you play in your bag? So I have a, uh, I have four. So I have a 50 degree, 52, 56, and a 60. Um, I probably use my 56 the most. Uh, I, I love that club. I use it in the bunker. I'm trying to transition to a 60 degree wedge in the bunker, but my 56 is definitely a club I use a lot. Uh, you can tell that just from the wear. But these are all, uh, I have Vokey SM7s in here and a Vokey SM6. Um, and I, yeah, I love them for sure. Uh, and they all have the same wedge flex with the, just the standard stock wedge flex in there from Titleist, so. Okay. And then, so gapping is important. Would you say you're gapping with each wedge is how far apart with regards to yardage? Yeah, so like my 50 degree is gonna be, you know, between 100 to 90 yards. And then underneath that, my 52 is, you know, about 10. I mean, it, it's usually about 10 yards for each. I hit my 56 about 55, 60 yards. And then um, my 52 is just in between that 50 and that, and that 56. So okay. uh, typically, like when I'm playing with, you know, again, like from the back tees versus like the front, if I'm playing a scramble, I use I, I'm closer to the green on a lot of the courses that I play when I'm playing from the front tees, so I don't really hit anything, you know, above 100 yards for the most part. But when I'm playing from the back, I have a lot of those weird gapping where it's like 80 yards, 90 yards, 70 yards, we're in there where I'm hitting in. Um, so, I, I, yeah. So you have a wide variation to help with regards to gapping with having the full wedges in your bag. Yeah, and they're steel shafts, so you know, in theory, I probably could hit them farther with like a graphite shaft in them, which um, is a thought to think about. But I, I, I don't really use them for like a you know full shot a lot of the time. I'm using them around the green or within you know 70 yards and under for a lot of the shots that I hit. Yeah, well, a lot of the times if you hit a full shot with a wedge, it's just going to get up in the air and spin be yeah, a little right. harder to control there, too. So I personally don't hit really more than a 10-30 golf swing with my wedges either, especially my 52, 56, 60. Otherwise, the ball spins too much. is a little bit harder to control. Yeah. So transitioning to my wedges, I have um, four wedges. I have the pitching wedge with the set, and then I have a 52, a 56, and 60. So I've got the Callaway Jaws wedge in the 52 and 56. And then I have the Callaway PM Grind 60 degree wedge. I love this wedge. This is a great club for me out of the sand for around the green and out of Tricky Lies. So I love playing that club last year here as well. And then gapping for me, you know, these clubs go between 60 yards to about 130 yards based on my nine o'clock and, and 1030 golf swing. We actually have a video coming up here where I talk about how gapping is very important with your wedge game there too. So they're the wedges that I play in, in my bag. Um, I actually transitioned to the True Temper S400 golf shaft. So those are the three golf shafts that I don't play in my bag that are not extra, are not extra stiff. Just a little bit softer, but still fairly heavy for control around the green. Um, transitioning to putter. So what putter do you play and what length is it? Yeah, uh, it's a... Uh, 33 inch putter. It's the Scotty Cameron Newport 2. I love this putter and I like the blade look. Uh, I've, al I've always had a blade for like 10 years now so it's just I, I like the look of it. I like to look at, it, at a dress uh, and I'm continuing to improve on my putting. It's one thing that I really want to continue to improve and get better at uh, but I feel like I can control the distance really well with this club 
and that I can, you know, make sure that I'm getting, you know, close to the hole on that first putt, and that's my end goal is to make sure I'm not three putting. Yeah. So I also noticed you mentioned 33 inches. Yeah. So does that help you get your eye position directly over the ball with 33 inches? Is the reason why you went for a little bit shorter putter? Yeah. Um, I like having a little bit more space away from my body it kind of gets me you know not it's not suited for everybody in terms of their putting stroke but for me i feel like i have a little bit more control with it that i'm able to like um, control my distance a little better and it's just honestly a feel thing for me more than anything um, i had a little bit longer putter prior to this and i was miss hitting it to the right like every single time hanging off the toe and it was just not a good fit and so the shorter putter just definitely feels better and it's for me it's more of a feel thing than anything okay uh my putter i play an arm lock putter i've been playing that since probably april 2019 so for me it feels really easy to be able to kind of lock myself in against my uh, le left forearm um, so that's part of the reason why i play the arm lock putter i don't practice as much as i used to so i feel like i can go out on the golf course and feel pretty comfortable without grinding on the green and, uh, and, and practicing on, with my putting there too. So good option for players that maybe have a little bit of a instability with regards to getting that club face square at impact. I putt fine with a traditional putter as well. I just have tra transitioned to this. So I feel like I get better results and make it a little bit easier for me to hit a little bit straighter. This putter is 39 inches, so it's cut an inch shorter than the standard length because I putt cross-handed arm lock. I have to make sure that I keep this under the uh, arm crease here as well. So that's why I went a little bit shorter. So I got the Stroke Lab Big 7 Arm Lock Putter 